Okay, YouTubers, this is The Angry Prepper. So today's video, we're gonna talk about Trump warned us. Now, we all know this, but I have to say it. And it was just a nice video to do because I get the motherfucker uh, Biden. Trump, guys, during his campaign has stated that if we elect this guy, which I know we didn't, we're not going to go down that fucking road, so fucking relax. I know a lot of you are ready to fucking type, it was stolen. We fucking get it. Grow up. We're past that fucking point now. Now we're talking about Trump warning us. All right? So calm down, eat a Snickers bar and relax. So with that, he warns us that if Biden takes over, we were going to see a depression like no other, and our 401ks and, and the likes of those are going to suffer. And sure enough, guys, we are not in a depression, but we are absolutely in a recession or headed to a recession, a recession depends on how you look at it. Everyone who has a 401k or 457, deferred comp, whatever it is that you have to save money, a lot of us are taking hits. A lot of people who are in the stock market were taking hits, though some people are still faring better than others, and others are fucking getting destroyed. Cryptocurrency took a bath, though I'm pretty sure that has not much to do with Biden, but let's blame it on Biden anyway. So this man, guys, that warned us about Biden, and now Biden is absolutely living up to everything President Trump said, or Mr. Trump at this point, sorry. Liberals, Democrats, assholes, cancers, pieces of shits, because they're all grouped together, they insisted that they rather vote for Biden than vote for Trump. But now we are seeing polls all over social media, in the news, stating that people will vote for Trump again if he runs. And we're talking about Democrats and liberals now who are like, yo, we can't do this anymore. We're paying too much for gas, we're paying too much for this. Trump did way better than people are saying. I didn't like the guy, I think he was a fucking asshole, but our country was in a way better state and on its way to being better. Now, if Trump runs in 2024, which a lot of people are suspecting that he will, um, supposedly he was supposed to make an announcement, I think July 4th, but I guess he didn't. Um, someone said he was going to make an announcement July 4th that he was going to run, but we all know he's going to run. I mean, it's not a fucking surprise. There's no surprising us at this point. Uh, Hillary Clinton, I know she threw her hat back in the ring, if I'm not mistaken. She's going to run for president. See again, and this is going to be a classic fucking standoff once again. The problem is I see something very, very different happening for the 2024. If we don't get to nuclear annihilation, if we don't get to full uh, depression, if we make it to 2024, I think something bad could happen uh, that year involving Trump because the world, the world elites who are against him don't want him back in. There are people who want this country to collapse and then there are people who don't. And like George Soros actually said, out in the open, there is a fucking battle between open society and closed society. And that open society is fighting pretty hard. We are an open society, the United States. A closed society would be like China. More and more people, the, the, the Chinese, Russians, who else is it? Brazil, those countries that enjoy that brick pack. South Africa, that join that brick pack. They are for a closed society, not an open society. So if those countries, guys, are for a closed society, and George Soros is even speaking on this, that means Trump and politicians like him are for an open society. Now, clearly, Democrats are for a closed society. They want rules, regulations, and all kinds of shit. Look how they reacted over the Road versus Wade. Road versus Wade was handed back to the states, and somehow that computed in the idiots' heads as to, oh my God, my rights are being taken away. No dickface. Your rights are not being taken away. You're just being refused a service in certain states. That's all it is. Abortion is a service. It's not a right. It's not a must have. It's not fucking health care unless you are uh, going to die or you're, being, you're sick from the pregnancy. It's not a right. Right? It's not a life saving tool unless you are in danger. It's a service. And people need to understand that abortion is a service. That being said, guys, Trump, back in the office, 
is going to provide the greatest service the United States has ever had, a strong economy and a stronger country. And I believe that if he goes back, if he throws his hat in the ring and he runs, he will win unless something fucked up happens to him. Now, the problem with it, guys, is he's going to bring back a stronger economy. He's going to bring back this country. That is the fight that George Soros was saying about the open and closed society. If he runs, guys, the closed society, the people who want a closed society are going to do something to him. That being said, I think, guys, if he throws his hat in the ring for every last one of us who will, who will be attending a Trump rally, we all need to be on the... Uh, on the lookout for shady motherfuckers in the crowd. We need to be the lookout for anyone being suspicious. Anybody fucking standing next to him that has that look of intent. And we know what that is. That's the dude that's doing this. And not smiling, not laughing, while everybody else is having a good time. This is the dude with the straight face. This is the dude who's psyching himself up in the head to get it done. We need to look out for people like that. Now, I'm not saying start hammering dudes left and right. I'm just saying this president, if he runs, is going to need our help on a level no president has ever gotten help from the citizens, ever. And this is the time for us to do what needs to be done. If we have to go to the rally, guys, listen, I hate fucking crowds. I hate being in a fucking... Eh, but if I have to go just to fucking be another fucking set of eyes, I'm going. Now, granted, guys, yes, you got Secret Service that are dressed as civilians. You got Secret Service dressed in suits. You got fucking spotters and eyes and all kinds of shit all over the place. Yes, but it doesn't hurt to have a fucking set, uh, a hundred pair of eyes, if you will. OK, so it doesn't hurt. But I think that if he runs, the shit is on. And when he announces that he's going to run, I think the shit's going to be on. But anyway, guys, other than that, this is the Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching the Angry Truth channel, and I will see you in the next video.